is a food allergy. A food allergy is on the body's immune system react unusually to specific food. Now this can trigger classic allergy symptoms such as rash, wheezing and itching. The most common allergies among adults are fish, shellfish and nut including Brazil nut and peanut. Children often have allergies to milk and eggs as well as to peanut and fish. Now what is intolerance? A food intolerance is when you have difficulty digesting certain food or ingredients in food. Now typical symptoms include bloating and stomach cramps. It is possible to be intolerant to several different food which can make it difficult to identify which food are causing the problem. Food intolerance can also be difficult to tell apart from other digestive disorders that produce similar symptoms such as inflammatory bowel disease, gastrointestinal obstructions or irritable bowel syndrome. Now what can trigger an allergic reaction to food? An allergic reaction can be, can be produced by a tiny amount of a food ingredient that a person is sensitive to. For example, a teaspoon of milk powder, a fragment of peanut. Symptoms of an allergic reaction can range from mild symptoms such as itching around the mouth and rashes and can progress to more severe symptoms such as vomit. Now, according to Food Standard Agency, around 10 people in the United Kingdom die from allergic reactions to food every year due to undeclared allergic ingredients. Now, is there a cure for food allergies? There is no cure for food allergies. The only way to manage the condition is to avoid the food that make you ill. This can be achieved by checking ingredients, details on labels of prepacked food, and being provided allergen information for non-prepacked food. Now, if you sell food to the public, food business operators, now what are your responsibilities? Now, food business operators in the retail and catering sector are required to provide allergen information and follow labeling requirement as set out in the food law. Now what does this mean? Any food business operator must provide allergen information to the consumer for both pre-packed and non-pre-packed food and drink. You must make sure that you handle food allergen effectively in food preparation and make sure that all your staff receive training on allergens. Now, how do you minimize the risk of allergen cross-contamination? You can minimize the risk of allergen cross-contamination through a number of ways. Having an allergen notification system with suppliers and maintaining well-labeled and segregated ingredient storage will support effective management of allergenic ingredients. Make sure that you exercise good personal hygiene and develop premises cleaning procedures with dedicated areas and utensils are all steps which reduce the likelihood of allergen cross contact. Now for more allergen guidance, please visit the Food Standard Agency website. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more food safety tips for your business. See you in our next video.